Hey guys, welcome back to yet another DIY video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a halter and lead rope for Schleich horses. And this has been really requested. So let's get started and we'll begin with the materials you'll need are two or three millimeter ribbon, scissors, string, 20 gauge wire, small pliers, wire cutters, one 12 millimeter lobster clasp, six six millimeter jump rings, one four millimeter jump ring, and lastly, a hot glue gun. The first thing you're going to do is take one six millimeter jump ring and the end of your ribbon, and you're going to thread your ribbon through the jump ring and then fold it over so you have a tab then apply some glue to the back of that tab and make sure you add enough glue. It's okay if you put on a little bit too much because we can trim it off later. And then make sure you press it together well, that way it's firm and secure. And like I said, trim off any glue that's squeezed out. Just be careful that you don't cut the ribbon because then you're going to have a fraying problem. Then you're going to cut the ribbon about that long. Next, you're going to glue another jump ring to the other end of that same piece of ribbon. Now you're going to glue another piece of ribbon to one of the jump rings. It doesn't matter which one, and you're just going to continue to use the same process of gluing, squeezing, and trimming. Then you're going to cut the end of the ribbon about that long. Next, you're going to thread a jump ring onto the end of that ribbon. Then you're going to bring that end up through the second jump ring and pull it through. And you're going to trim off any extra ribbon, but make sure you leave a tab. And then you're going to apply some glue to that tab and glue it down. Also, when you do this step, it's easiest to have it inside out. That way all the glues, glue seams are on the inside because we don't really want to see those and it's a lot easier to do. So once you're done with the nose band, you just turn it right side out and it looks very clean with all the seams on the inside. And throughout this process of making a halter, you're going to need to check the sizing on your horse multiple times. So and now the nose band is done, we are going to continue on and make the cheek pieces. So you're going to thread the end of the ribbon through one of the side jump rings and glue it down. Then you're going to cut that piece of ribbon about that long and I will make it shorter later. This is just cutting it for now. And you're going to repeat that exact process on the other side. And this is the part where I cut the cheek piece ribbons a little shorter. And if you're not sure how short you're supposed to cut these, you can just put it on your horse and it measure on him. Now you're going to take another jump ring and thread it onto one of the little cheek piece ribbons we just glued on. And you're going to make sure you leave a little tab and glue it down. And of course, repeat on the other side. Now I'm just once again at trimming off all the glue that squeezed out. So moving on, you're now going to glue a piece of ribbon to one of the top jump rings of one of the cheek pieces. And you're just going to thread it through and make sure you leave a tab and glue it down. And of course, the usual process of squeezing and trimming, then you're going to cut the end about that long. Then you're going to take that end and thread it through and glue it to the other top cheek piece jump ring. And once again, make sure you're constantly checking the fit on your horse. Now with your pliers, you're going to open the four millimeter jump ring and attach it to the six millimeter jump ring that we threaded onto the nose band. Mm -hmm. 
Now you're going to take the end of your ribbon and thread it through that little tiny jump ring. And this can be kind of hard, so I like to cut the end of my ribbon at an angle. And then once you get it through, you're going to fold it over and cut off the angle. And then you're going to glue it down. And just remember to make sure you're keeping all the glue seams on the inside of your halter. And you're going to cut the end of that ribbon about that long. This next part can be a bit tricky too. So you're going to take the end of that ribbon and you're going to loop and bend it up over, um, I forget the technical term of that piece on the halter, but up around that piece of ribbon there. <laughs> and I'm trying to make this make sense. And you're going to add a little bit of glue onto the end and glue it down. You want to make sure that you don't get any glue on the piece of ribbon that you just looped up around through. And hopefully you saw how to do that by the video. But when you're done, this is what it should look like so far. Next, you're going to glue a piece of ribbon to one of the top cheek piece jump rings and just keep in mind this is going to be the piece of ribbon that you're going to glue a buckle onto so I like to put my buckles on this side of my halter because that's the side that they are on real halters. Once you've glued it on you're going to cut it about that long at an angle. So now we're going to make a buckle. So you're going to get your wire in your pliers and you're going to place the wire in between the point of your pliers and you're going to wrap your wire around and then you're going to pull out your pliers and get your wire cutters and cut the buckle free of the spool of wire. And if your buckle turns out a little bit funky shaped, you can just reshape it with your pliers. Then you place your buckle in between your pliers and you squish it all together and really hard. That way the buckle is all sealed together, together and there's no seams for your ribbon to slip out and it's very secure. Then trim off the little bits of wire that are sticking out on the ends. And this is what your completed buckle should look like. Next step is to thread the buckle onto the halter. So you're going to go up through the first loop on the buckle with the ribbon and then thread your ribbon up through the second loop on the buckle. After that, fold down the end of the ribbon and cut off the angle and glue it down, but make sure you don't get any glue on the buckle. So after that, thread a ribbon through the other jump ring on the other side and glue it down. And you're going to cut the end of that ribbon pretty long. So you're going to thread that ribbon through the buckle by going through the top loop and then threading it through the bottom loop of the buckle. And as you can see, it should be completely adjustable. Now for the last step, you're going to put it on your horse and cut the end of the ribbon at an angle and add some glue so it doesn't fray. And your halter is now complete. But we still need to make a lead rope, so you're going to cut two really long pieces of string. And open your last jump ring. Then attach your lobster clasp to that jump ring. Now thread your string through that jump ring. So this next step, you need to twist your lead rope. So you can have somebody hold the lobster clasp while you twist the lead rope, or you can tape it to the table. I make a lot of lead ropes, so I have this clamp that I um, have that hold my lead rope while I twist it. But as you can see here, basically, you're just going to twist the two strings and until you get to the end. Once you make it to the end, you're just going to tie a knot. 
and cut off a little bit of the extra string. Not all of it, just a little bit. And that is your completed lead rope. All right, so that is how to make a halter and lead rope for a Schleich horse. You can, of course, just make everything bigger and make halters like this for briar horses and basically any kind of model horse. So I hope this was helpful, and thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!